The kind of programs that will be offered here at the Academy depend on the job demands of Lincoln and the state of Nebraska. One officer said a change was made in active shooter training, but that change was made long ago. I'm here at the ROTC building here on campus where many military careers begin. A growing concern for many veterans is where to look for employment after they're done serving. To help with that concern, a job fair entitled Hiring Our Heroes was held today in Lincoln. Veterans filed into the Lancaster Event Center looking for employment options outside of the military. Organizers of the event made sure the employers at the booths would be able to deliver. The employer must have jobs in order to participate. So this is not about a feel good. This is about real employment possibilities in Nebraska. There were more than 80 employers at the job fair today. The type of job opportunities ranged from GameStop to the Nebraska State Patrol. Some companies, such as Spiral Solutions and Technologies, find many of their employees at events such as Hiring Our Heroes. My company is 95% military veterans. Um, I'm very proud to work with them. I've always had a passion for recruiting veterans. I talked to veteran Richard Birch, who said job fairs were crucial because the military unemployment rate is higher than the national average. Birch also said job fairs were important for the underemployed. Even if they're not looking for a job, they need to explore the job fairs because they just might find out that they're they're a little bit better off and, and a little bit better prepared for uh, uh, higher level positions in the civilian market as well as the military. Now we didn't get any final numbers for the event, but we know that more than 100 veterans were served within the first 90 minutes. Back to you guys in the studio. The University Health Center was handing out free spring break gear, such as what I have on here, today at the Union. But they weren't just handing out party supplies. We have information about safety, um, around uh, sun safety, alcohol safety, just even social media safety, just to think twice before you're Facebooking, Twittering. College of Hair Design representatives joined the University Health Center at the Union in warning people of the potential dangers of spring break. They brought a unique device with them called the yeah, Woods Link. Look inside of this and uh, they will see the, the spots from the sun. Dehydrated. Of course, spring break is a big week for travel agencies. AAA is also taking this opportunity to warn students to take precaution. You know, make sure that you're leaving all your contact information home with a, a family member or a friend, you know, for somebody can contact you. And then it's always nice, you know, you can always text or, you know, or, or call home every once in a while just to touch base with someone back here just to make sure everybody knows you're safe. If you would like free spring break gear, the health center will be back here at the Union from 11 to 1 on Thursday. Remember to have a safe spring break. Back to you guys in the studio. Lincoln Senator Bill Avery proposed a bill this morning which would prohibit lobbyists from making campaign donations to lawmakers while the legislation is in session. If LB 448 is passed, Nebraska would join 28 other states who have already passed similar bills. The Association of Students. 15-year-old Nick DeLazio recently sold his news reading app to Yahoo for nearly $30 million. DeLazio's app, Sumly, automatically summarizes news stories for a small screen. DeLazio created the app when he was just 15 and quickly had deals with over 250 online publishers. Sumly had been downloaded almost 1 million times before it was taken down from the App Store Monday. Coming up in entertainment was testing day for the defensive backs. Former Husker Damian Stafford was among the group as he placed sixth among safeties in the bench press, totaling 21 reps. However, Stafford failed to impress in other categories, including the all-important 40-yard dash, where he ran a 4.69. Stafford will get the chance to improve on that result on Nebraska's Pro Day on March 7th. That day will be key for Huskers who weren't invited to the Combine, including Kyler Reed, Eric Martin, and Ben Cotton. Former presidential nominee and current Arizona United States senior, senior Senator John McCain has created a stir on Twitter. McCain tweeted a crack at Iran President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. The tweet read, so Ahmadinejad wants to be first Iranian in space, wasn't he just there last week? And McCain linked a Yahoo News article from last Monday that described how Iran had launched a live monkey into space. After much backlash from the tweet that many considered to be racist, McCain tweeted, lighten up folks, can't everyone take a joke? On January 28, witnesses saw flames on the front porch of a house in the 6400 block of South 56th Street and called Lincoln Fire and Police Departments. It was foggy that night, so no one saw that fire until it was too late. Firefighters fought the blaze for more than 30 minutes 
but the house was destroyed. Police have sent more than 10 fire inspectors to the scene and all say it was more, most likely arson. Um, we've ruled out all, um, any natural causes of the fire, any electrical or um, things like that that you typically see at a fire. So we're kind of to a, a point where we're waiting for some lab results to come back, but um, we definitely think it's an arson. If you have any tips, you are encouraged to call Crime Stoppers at 402-475-3600. For watching tonight. Be careful in those driving conditions the next couple of days. Have a great evening.